Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful tutorial, we we'll are trying to see how to build a very simple app using Streamlit. So we'll be using the new features in Streamlit to build a movies directory app, right? So this is what we'll be trying to build. It's having two sessions, one for the normal home and then one for searching by the year. So if I go back to this particular app here, I can search a particular movie by the title. So this, we are using the movies lens database. So I can pick a movie like let's say 12 monkeys, then I can click on the title to see the title of the movie that I selected, which is this, right? Then I can also preview it as an image, right? Very nice. And this image is being taken directly from this particular URL. Okay, you can also check for the type of movie, which is a general in this particular option. Very cool and very nice, right? So you can select multiple movies. If I go back to the sidebar here, I can also go to the search option. Then under search, I can also search by the year, right? So this is just select all movies per year. So if I click on this, search by year. So I want all movies that are in 1995. So it's going to give us a data frame of all the movies in 1995. I can also come back and change it to, let's say 1998. So it's going to list all the movies in our database, which were released in 1998. So you can see that the year is 1998 here. Then I can come back down here and then click on the title going to list all the movies which were released in 1998 then the images very very cool right so you see that these are all the images for corresponding to that particular movie very very nice then i can also check for the particular type of movie right very nice so this is something very simple so let's see how to build this simple stuff from scratch so we'll be trying to see the layout how we're able to do this simple layout to be able to position three different columns right in our app so let's see how to do that so this is a simple picture to help us get it out so this is a simple layout in streamlight so let's say the normal one we do is that we have your whole full layout right then in case you want to divide your layout into three right maybe or into two right with the new feature from 0 0.68 and apples you can actually use the beta columns to be able to specify that so it's, go it's going to be like the column one column two then SD dot beta columns then you specify this number so this is going to be the number that you want right so this is i want two columns right so create two columns for me right very very nice and very good this is like great very very nice and this is usually usually using the concept of unpacking so if i'm saying two there it must be unpacked into two variables very nice again in case i also want to do for let's say three columns right that means i have to change this one right so it's going to be st beta columns then three right that means i want three different columns then I, I will unpack it into this particular one column one column two column three then it's going to bring this particular one for us right very cool so you just specify the particular number of columns you want then you unpack them into their right variables very nice again what if i want different length of columns because these ones are automatically going to partition it per into half right if i say two it's going to automatically partition it into two equal halves three three equal halves but if i want one layout one layout to be bigger than the other i can also specify that with it so i'm going to specify in a format of a list so i want two columns so i'm packing it into column one column two but i want the first column to be three times bigger than the last column right so this is how it's going to be right so the first column will be three times bigger than the last column very very nice so that is the basic overview of the layout in streamlight so all that you do is just call st beta columns then in case you want two columns two equal columns you just go with two you specify the variables because you're unpacking them the same thing for three and in case you want different lines you just specify that i want two columns one and two but the first column i want it to be three times bigger than the last one right that is a basic understanding so let's see how to use this same concept to be able to build something from scratch then you move on to build our app so we'll be stopping our app that we're running on this simple app so the same idea that we used to build this one right into three different columns so we'll be stopping everything then you start from scratch so stop it and let's create another column and then let's get out from this place and create another stuff so this is going to be my st movie app right something like that so into my streamlight movie app then there is nothing here right so i'm going to create a simple file by the way i can see it well app dot pi right perfect so let's start with it it's too big so I'm, I'm going to open it so the current version that you need is you need version 0 0.68 and upwards right so if i go back and i run streamlit version this is the 
current version that I'm using, right? So from 0.68 and upwards, you can see this wonderful features. So if I check it, it is version 0.68, right? So that's what you are using. So in case you want to get this particular one, you have to just go with pip install stream lit dash u, right? To upgrade it to version 0.68. Eight. So let's see how to build it from scratch. So that is how to install it on your system. So I'm just going to go back to the same place I have and I'm going to open with Sublime my location. So I've added the movie data set today, right? I'm just taking 500 of them to make our work easier. I'm going to open it and then we'll start writing some code. Perfect. So let's start. So this is our app. So I'm just going to import our core package. This is going to be our core package, right? So we'll be importing stream let as st. And that's all that we need. So we just do our simple basic stuff. These are basic stuff we always do. So let's call it as our movie lens data set, but let's call it as basics on basics on columns, right? ST beta columns right? or layout, right? So there are several ways we can lay out, but you're picking the first one. So this is one of the methods in which you can use to create a very nice layout very nice so that is something very simple so let's go back here pass then let's run our app so, right so this is something very simple so everything that we'll be doing we'll be going in between this particular place right that is all that we need so let's start with it so we we will just do something very simple to help us with that this is going to be our menu and i'm going to call it as my home and this is going to be my search right Something very simple. I can also put about there in case you want to put there. Then I'm going to say that my choice, as we always do, st dot select. Let's use sidebar. Sidebar dot select box. Then I'll pass in my menu. Then I'll pass in my menu. That is all that we need, right? So now with this simple stuff we have, if I go back to this and I say if my menu, if my choice rather, if a uh, choice is equal to home right. so these are all busy stuff right st dot sub header then i'll call this one as what home right then i'll do the same thing for the last one so else if the choice is go to search i'll do the same thing as we did above so st dot sub header this is going to be search right something very simple then else so this is going to be the default about right st dot subheader about that is something very simple so let's open this simple app and let's see how it works right so the same locations so i'm going to go with my stream let run app.py that is all that we need right so it's going to run my app right then it's going to open using your default browser so whilst it's opening it let's see some basic stuff so with stream late anytime you have this st right it's opening our browser so let's use chrome because chrome is easy right so this is chrome and you can see that we have our app there right so we have our home and then our search right home and our search is working perfectly well so let's see how to work with the layout first right that is the basic understanding behind it so how do you work with the layout so as i said in, a, in our previous picture to work with the layout this was how it was you just go with this option here right column one column two st beta columns then you specify the particular layout that you want so that is a basic understanding behind it so i just come back to the same place with a normal one if i do something like this so st dot success right i say this is sync a uh, full layout right right this is a full layout if i go with this option let's always run I'm going to say this extending to the entire stuff, right? If I open it, it extends to the entire app, right? But in case I want to partition it into two, right? Or put one layout at the one side and the other one by the side, then I can also do that in this option. So with the ST beta, ST beta columns, right? You can actually specify that particular option. So in that case, I want my column one, right? And then column two. Don't forget we are unpacking then st dot beta columns then i'll specify that i want two columns if i go with two columns perfect now to be able to see it right there are several ways so we have the first method third one right so for the remote one i can just go with column one dot 
success right then i pass in my let's say first column first column right let's go with this option right so i go with this and i save it now you're going to see that now it is going to bring our first column here right and it is responsive so it has laid it well but if i expand it you can see that there are two different so this is the full full layout the full length this is the first column so in case i want the other one here i'll just go back to the same place and then i'll put it there which is going to be my column two dot success right so let's use a different picture or let's make it the same success let's go as second column right. if i go with second column i intentionally spot it wrong so that i can see that it's totally different because now it has given us in total different stuff right so very very cool right very very nice wow that's a good work they have done right so we have been able to partition it or set two different layouts one by the side one by the other by the side this is the first method and then one nice thing about this stuff that we have done is that this entire stuff here is inheriting everything that we can do so the normal way is that if i come back to this in place let's do this option st dot right something very simple then i go with my st dot sidebar right there now let's check it out if i check this particular stuff out let's give it a test st dot test then i see this is for sidebar right if i check this one out and i come back here you're going to see that it is showing in this particular format everything for the sidebar so just as like with the sidebar we can put a button beside here we can do all of these things with the sidebar option right with the columns you can also do that so you see that it's inheriting all of these things all these powerful feature right very cool the header the help the image that's why we can insert images at the sidebar multi-select all of these things so with the column that we have created with the st beta we are also getting the same thing so if i come back here let's go to st dot test is going to be column or beta column apologies for that beta columns right in the feature it is going to be hopefully columns right because a very nice feature <laughs> and then it's going to be st dot right there are my column one right if i go with column one it's going to also going to bring out the same thing that we did here i don't know whether you are getting a point so it is inheriting everything so whatever you can do with the st the sidebar column or whatever you can do with streamlight itself you can do it the same thing with the sidebar right with the st beta so this is the st beta you can see that it's inheriting all of these things right the header the image the help all of these things out of the world that is a very very nice cool feature right perfect so that is something technical about it but this is not <laughs> let's not go too much right so that is something very simple so that means that this column that we are getting right it's inheriting everything that we can do with the app right that explains why you could see all of these things here perfect so because of that idea i can also come back again so let's uncomment this one out and then let's uncomment this one out right so that our app looks clean because of that same idea i can also come back to this same place here and just go with my column one dot let's say button if i put there hello now this is going to also bring the button just like as if i would have done this st dot button right because we learned that it's inheriting everything so if i come back and i check it here so now the button is there right and the button is going to be positioned under that place under this particular option it's never going to be spread all over i can also put another button here so let's put another button down here which is going to be column two dot button then here i can just put a, another column which is going to be let's say hello from two from column two right so you know the difference and i can see that we have one hello here right then another hello from column two very cool and very nice very very nice okay that is the first method using this particular option right this is method one now let's check method two so method two is going to be this method two is using this is with a contest manager 
Right, so this is very nice, but sometimes you want you have a lot of things you can't be putting them column one, column two. So you can use the contest manager. In that case, we're using the normal width. It's going to be width column one, right? Then everything is going to come down here. So in this case, I'm going to do everything I will do, but I'll not be calling column one. This no, we do st right dot. Let's give that test input. Let's go with test area, right? Then I'll call it as let's say any any name that I want to put it there. So let's call it as say enter here, test here. So let's store this one into a variable called my test, or I call it as my search, right? If I run it like this, now if I go back and I check it out, you're going to say now it's going to put it in the respective place, right? You can say that's lead it. On that particular side right very very nice so i can also do the same thing here i can also put anything i want to do in case i want to put a button so uh, let's put a button let's call it as if st dot button right i can put in a button there with submit then i'll just go st dot write that particular test search right upper case so you see the difference now if i go back here and then I run it again. So we see that we have one column layout here. So if I put in hello world, I click on submit, it's going to put that result down here, right? In the right column, right? Very, very cool. Very, very cool, right? You can see that that's put, in, put it here. So I can also put another test area here or test input here, anyhow you want it to be. So let's put that one there. So we can just keep on putting a lot of things down here, right? That is for the layout. So that is the first method. I can also do the same thing for the second one. So let's say the second one, I also want to put column two, right? This time I don't want to put a search test input. I want to put a number input. So let's go to number or oh, here. Yeah. Right, then st dot number. Let's use number input. You can use date input, but let's go with input. Right, then I'll put in a year. Then I'll specify this. I want 1995 to 2020. Right. Perfect. Then if I save it, it's going to automatically add it under, under that particular column. Right. And on that particular column. Very nice. So that this is very different from here. So that is something very cool that you can do. So that is a basic overview about the layout. Very simple. Very cool. So the basic understanding behind working with the layout is that first of all, you just need to specify the number of columns you want with the ST beta columns. So in case you want to just go with two, then you unpack it into variable one, variable two, right? Very nice. Then the first method is that you can do it like this. So it is going to be ST uh, column one success, column one button, column one, whatever you want to do, or you can use a contest manager. So this is also very neat. And very nice i prefer this one because it's quite cool right very nice right so there's another method you can also do so with column one so with layout column one i want you to put everything here under column one with layout column two i want you to put everything under column two now let's try another stuff too so this is going to be for different layouts so i'll come back to the search here now we're working on the search option this is using different widths right different layout so to work with different layout how do you do that so we learned previously that if you want to work with different layout this is how it is so we have one bigger than the other right so in case i want to get one bigger than the other i'll use the st beta column then you specify right so in that case i'll come back here to the same thing here and then let's call this one as m1 right m2 we can give it any name so let's call it as c1 then c2 right so Let's do just two st dot beta columns. Then I want two columns. So put inside a list. I want two columns. So the first one to be three, and the next one is going to be one, right? So if I go back with, it, with this, I can just go with my let's use a with contest. So with c1 column one st dot. You can just use anything I want to do. You can use image. You can use anything. So you can just go with something like let's say mm, let's use the info, right? from column one right and then we can just come back again with c2 then st dot info or let's use success so that it looks different it's going to be from column c2 right this is going to be less right so if i run it again 
and let's check it so let's check it out i come back to the sidebar we are using it under the search then i go back to the search option perfect so now this is bigger right than this one right very very cool i don't know whether you can see this is bigger than this one that is something very nice something very cool right so i can also do it for multiple multiple stuff very cool right so in case i also want maybe three right if i go with this option let's put one here it's going to give us a mistake right it's going to give us an error because we are not unpacking them all so that's why it's giving us too many values to unpack expected to so if you are saying that you want this man this side right must be always equal to this right because you are unpacking them right very simple and very nice so in that case in case i want another one i have to do it like this so c3 right and now it's going to work perfectly well i said that now we have one two and then there's another space for c3 so if i go back to c3 so inside c3 this is going to be c3 so now i can just say that this is from c3 then instead of using this let's use one right? so that it looks different from the rest so if i run it and i come back and i check it out then now this is divided into one one and then this is divided into three right very cool and very nice that is a basic overview behind working with streamlit layout very very cool very very nice that's a very simple stuff that they have done a very nice stuff so the basic understanding is that to create a layout you just go with the column in case you want two columns you just specify sd beta columns then the number of columns you want then you unpack them more again in case you want three columns you also do the same thing right then you unpack them in that but in case you also want a different one bigger than the other you just go with this option right and then you specify them to so column one column two st beta columns then you put into a list the percentage it's going to automatically divide them per that particular stuff that is the basic overview behind working with layout in streamlight so in the next session we're trying to build our app right as we said earlier on so thank you for watching see you in the next session stay blessed bye